Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are on episode number 114 and we're going to be going over the Views Calc module. The Views Calc module allows you to easily use sums, averages, counts, mins, or maxes within a view. Basically, it allows you to get a lot of nice calculations about the data that is actually being displayed inside a views table. So as you can see, this example, it allows counting, summing, and maxing of the various data that's shown in this view. But before we get started, as always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codecrowdy.com, sign up for the newsletter. If you haven't checked out drupalize.me, please do so. Drupalize.me is one of the best ways to learn about Drupal. You can simply come here to browse, see some of their newest videos, and you'll notice that not only do they have a huge selection of videos, they have a lot of videos here for free. So go ahead and go to Drupalize.me and start learning more about Drupal. If you do decide to sign up, you can use the coupon code CK20FEB and you get 20% off and they know that I sent you over there. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a test site here and I already have the views calc module installed. So we'll go ahead and show that. As you can see down here, the views calc module has been installed. I'm using 7.x-1.0. And the views calc module really has two major features that you can use it for. I'm only going to go over one of those today. The first is that you can create custom fields that can be used inside actually inside your view as just another field. I'm not going to go over that because there's not really a lot of uses that I've seen for that. There can be a few but it's not as important as being able to actually do the other types of calculations. You can change the settings for allowable functions and operators. You can also export and import your views calc fields so you can move it across other websites. So if you need to move it from one Drupal site to another, you can easily reuse your views calc custom fields. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new view called time entry. But before I do that, I'm going to show you my content type that I created. I created a content type called time entry, which if I go to the manage field, you'll see it's very simple. It has a title, has a date value using the date module and has a decimal value for time logged. Basically think of it as just a simple way for people or just a simple way to display logged time. It's just as used as an example so we can show how this view could work. So I will create my view, call it time entry. I'm going to show content of type time entry. And I'm going to create a page here called time entry. The display format, this is the important part here. I need to select views calc table select how many items I'm going to display. I'll go ahead and display all of them. And now I click continue and edit. The first thing I'm going to do is add my fields. Remember I have a date field which I'm going to add and I also have a time logged field. So I'll add that field as well and click apply all displays. I'll go ahead and keep both of these at the defaults. I'm also going to go ahead and remove this title field because it's not really necessary for this example. As you can see, if I scroll down, I have the date and the time logged showing up here in the preview. What I really want to do is I want to see the actual sum of this time. So I simply click on the settings here. As you can see, it was right on the views calc table format, click settings, and you can actually display the calculation for this time logged field. I can do things like sum, count, average, minimum. I'm going to do a he go ahead and do sum and average to show a couple examples. And I click apply all displays and it automatically adds those sections to the bottom. So here it sums up the value of all these fields and also shows me my average. So that's really all there is to views calc. It's a pretty simple module if you just want to display, you know, minimums, maximums, counts, sums or averages in uh, basically like a total section on the bottom of your views table. We'll go ahead and look at the full page just to see how it looks. 
need to go ahead and make sure I save my view, of course. And as you can see, it gives you the nice little table with the dates and the time logged. You can do a whole bunch of things like add exposed filters here so you can select di different date ranges and it'll change the actual sum and average time based on the exposed filters values. So it's really flexible, it's really useful if you're doing or displaying data that has numeric values that you may need to do calculations on. So go ahead and give ViewsCalc a try in the next project you need to perform these types of calculations. And we want to thank Drupalize.me again for sponsoring this episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. If you'd like to become a sponsor, go ahead and go to CodeKarate.com and click on the Code Karate Sponsorship page and learn more. And I want to thank you for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. We'll see you next time.